I can hear myself talking there. Feedback. Was that me talking? It sounds like someone did a test run. Does it seem to be running? Can you tell if it's? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So Richard, yeah, I mentioned I was uh, doing sidewalk astronomy starting about 10 years ago up on Mount Tabor, but I've actually been doing it going further back. It took me a while to figure this out. Um, but it looks like I'm, I hope my camera can pick this up. This is just impromptu and bringing this in with me today. But what it looks like some nights there is uh, just a little brighter light. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is a Russian youth group that wandered up from a church one night, and I had my Dobsonian you know, Coulter Odyssey set up, and that Celestron Next Star 5i I talked about. And they ordered out for pizza to go. And uh, there's actually about 150 of them there that night. This is a small group that just posed for my camera. I do this a lot. I take a group shot of people looking for the scopes. So I don't, and I'm in photos all the time. I don't call it a selfie, I call it a groupie. <laughs> so when I hold up a photo flash, I put the camera you're seeing right now used on a tripod, just like I'm standing in front of a group of people with me. And I put it at a slow shutter, about an eighth of a second, or eight tenths up to a full second. And then I, I trip it with a remote. I see my hand pointing, I've got a remote control. <laughs> and so I make sure everybody's posing or looking, someone's looking through a telescope. I, I might even have other photos here. Um, something like this is entirely different. This is the comet Lovejoy, I think the gentleman later spoke about it tonight. It took quite a bit of processing, but uh, I'll put the camera on top of the Celestron just to use it as a, as a guide scope, or as a tracking, with the camera piggybacked. And I use my 45-year-old college days lens uh, on the new Sony. You can adapt old lenses now to your digitals. A lot of people are doing this. But I'm, I don't want to stray away from that. The sidewalk is strong, we talk about astrophotography, but it's, it's a large amount of things I've done in the last 20 years. Uh, a lot of us probably start out with the task of the 60 millimeter refractor, as young astronomers will remember this. And uh, I made sketches of Mars very crudely. I've got them put away somewhere, I'm going to find them one day. I actually took my parents' Kodak box camera. Uh, it, strapped it to the top of my Tasco, and as uh, the gentleman was talking about photographing comet Aaron Rowland, I believe the name of it, and he hand-guided it. I hand-guided through the scope on a guide star in Orion's belt. And uh, just with the Kodak the box camera, so it was a very wide field image. And I tracked it, but I didn't realize until I got the film process, it was high-speed Kodak 400 AXA, ASA, and I got the film back from Fred Myers when I went with my parents, and I noticed that the constellation had twisted or turned, but the guide star on the belt stayed kind of centered. So you realize what equatorial tracking is by <laughs> the process of attrition or making a mistake. And I understood then why some older students that I knew in high school had some of those old unitron refractors that were on these actual equatorial mounts and why they had them. And they had a good worm drive mechanism in the drive. So I learned, I, never, I didn't ever go back and bother with it again. And that's why I didn't photograph the Comet in 1907. Because I knew, I didn't think I could track them sufficiently. So it wasn't until much later that, uh, it wasn't that much later. After high school, I bought a 35 millimeter and then, I think I showed this here about a year ago, before the eclipse. My wife and I went out to the Columbia River Gorge in 1979, photograph the total eclipse. I put this together as a composite. But uh, there'll be, I'll do another presentation here in a few months, Richard, when I talked about it, and I can show the bigger panoramas I take now using this camera. I take up to 100 shots across the sky in photo suits. This is kind of small to see this here tonight, but it's the Milky Way up at Trillium Lake with a red and green aurora over the mountain. And uh, the Andromeda Galaxy is up in the upper right here, and I did a larger composite of it uh, with the Triangle Galaxy below it. In the yard, I was living in the Sandy, Oregon at the time. Um, we talked tonight at the dinner there earlier about uh, a little bit about Central Oregon, the first star parties briefly, where I met Richard years ago. And uh, I took pictures of a place called Rob's Tree at uh, Indian Trail Springs. This is just a quick silhouette for the five minutes. I have much more higher time exposure.